think that the importance of immersing yourself into a different culture is that you get a different perspective that you've never had before. You can learn more coming to the place and being surrounded by that like atmosphere than you can from a book in a school. It's the best way to remove any like prejudices or preconceptions that you have about a certain culture or country such as, well in this case, China. You feel really small when you realize that you're just like, well you're only one person and there's like several billion other people in this world. I saw how different the lives of the people in Beijing are compared to our lives back in Hawaii. It's an experience of a lifetime to be able to go to China, to really experience the culture. You've gotten to meet so many people over the trip with so many different backgrounds, beliefs, and likes and dislikes. I'd say we, not only did we learn a new culture, we actually lived in it. China is so different. I'm, I was always amazed with the, the sheer beauty of China, like the little symbols you see to like the intricate designs on the people and how, you know, every one of them isn't really the same, but they all have their own unique character to them. For the scenic spots, I think I like the Great Wall the best. And this means that you're not a hero unless you go to the Great Wall. And I guess today we all became heroes because we went to the Great Wall. All right, all right. What kind of hurt? That's good. I made friends from Waipao who from like Roosevelt. I didn't even know like them because we live we all live on the same island yet we don't even see them. Each and every one of them all care for each other. Not just because they have to, but because they really want to. <laughs> You know, other people have different beliefs than you, and it's really about respect, you know, like learning what other people believe in helps you understand another person better. You get to see, like, the way of life of other people, and you kind of get to be more appreciative of what you have. You get to really seek into a culture and the social contracts of a country to be able to mingle with the people to understand. For the farm, you know, like, I uh, really like kind of put things into perspective, like really how important it is to know where your food comes from. She's the one. Mm. She's looking She's turkey. Turkey. Oh, the yeah. We got a really cool tour and when, what was cool about it was then when we went into the greenhouses, we like got to pick tomatoes and then after we did our own labor work for about half an hour, let's just say I give those workers credit for what they do because that is intense work. Xi'an starts off with us getting right off the train and heading to um, the Terracotta Warriors, um, which is an awesome display of both um, Chinese art and the imperial power that was going on at the time. At Dong Satsun, we learned about like the history of the village and why um why it was so like important. All the architecture and the stone was just completely different from what you would see in the city. I think it's all about just preserving the culture and just making sure that it doesn't get lost. Wangshan was a world heritage. It was very different from like going on just a normal hike that you always go on every weekend. I'm really thankful for the school vids we got to do. To um, especially the MC at the Michael Jordan Foundation. We decided to read a book called Where's My Slippers? and like they translated to Chinese so that they could understand it. Because we read the book, Where's My Slippers, we decided to make arts and crafts slippers. It was really fun. They aren't quote unquote citizens of the same city. They don't have access to the same um, public services and hygiene. They lack so much resources, but to see like how we brighten their day as they brighten mine, that like really warmed my heart. 
<laughs> Watching them have fun and like being happy that we were there, it was really, it was a good experience. High schoolers, they were, it was really, it was a blast learning about them, talking to each other. They were so nice and they were eager to learn as well and I think it was easier for us to communicate with them because they knew English as well and they weren't shy like the little kids we met in um, the migrant school. All the students we met were really sociable and friendly and some of them even prepared gifts for us in return. We're all people really and we kind of connect on that people to people level. That's what's really like stuck with me. What I found emotionally touching was how sweet they were and how much they were like open about themselves. We got to learn about people just like us. Like they have their own dislikes about classes just like us. They have their own idols that they look up to and some of them actually are similar to ours. Just by visiting these touristy places, museums, and places like that, you don't really get to know the full history and culture of the people. And by visiting places where real people live and real people learn to adapt to society and develop their careers and goals in different ways, that's an experience that you don't really get to have anywhere else. This trip is valuable in so many different ways to be able to see things that you would never have otherwise been able to see, meet people that have so many different perspectives and knowledge. It's, it's a really rich experience and I'm not sure how to put it into words.